This new age music, like, it sucks. Singer, oh my god, he can rap sing. And I'm like, bitch, rap sing? What the fuck is that? Go best friend, 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 fuck it up, ah, fuck it up, ah, fuck it up, ah. <clears throat> What's good, Petty Gang? It's your boy Tyler LaDuff, and I'm back with another video. Disclaimer, you clicked on this video to hear my unpopular opinion. If you get butthurt at my unpopular opinions, I'm going to drag you in the comment section. Anybody else watching this video, drag them in the comment section. Because why click on a video knowing you're about to get triggered? It's my unpopular opinions. I'm going to try not to disrespect too much, but my mouth can get very, very rowdy because it's already very rowdy already. So, <laughs> hopefully you stay subscribed after this video. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button if you're new and hopefully you'll be back for another video, okay? Because I'm about to say some stuff and my opinions are very unpopular, but it's okay. Anyways, let's get into the video. Beyonce. <laughs> Hear me out, all you Beyonce fans, I love y'all. I love the human race so much, and I love me some Beyonce. But damn, y'all, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy as fuck. Y'all make me look through my window to make sure there's no beehive outside ready to kill me. Because to me, Beyonce is very, very, very overrated. She's an awesome performer, she's a great vocalist, but bitch, she's been performing the same eight songs over the past nine years. I'm like, if you don't like it, then you should've put a ring on it, uh-uh-oh. Uh. She go to the same cities, and she does the same thing over and over and over. And y'all be paying hundreds of dollars to go see her do the same thing over and over. Bitch, I can watch that on YouTube for free. For free? I'm just like, mm, Beyonce, I need some hits, I need some number ones. But honestly, Beyonce has made so much money that bitch, she doesn't even need to make new songs. She can perform the same songs and do different choreographies at any time. Bitch, she can make Beyonce University and be just fine to teach new artists to do the same shit over and over. And guess what? They still getting their monies, but guess what? Beyonce, sis, like after Partition, I was like, what's going on? And even before Partition, I'm like, where are these hits, girl? Like, what's going on? Queen Nigel, y'all, Queen Nigel fans are one of the most annoying people on the face of the planet. But if you support me and you're a Queen Nigel fan, I love you so much. But a lot of her fandom just be trying to put her on Beyonce's pedestal or put her on Whitney Houston's pedestal. And I'm like, let's knock it down three notches, bitch. Because when I first started watching Queen, I was like, oh, this bitch can sing. Like, she can sing or something, you know? But ever since this breakup and ever since uh, Medicine came out, I mean, people have been saying she's the best vocalist of all time sit down her voice still needs some work it cracks a lot she can sing very 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 well don't get me wrong but y'all boosting her up acting like she's just some legendary singer and I'm just like this bitch is not legendary yet like she I I don't like to be legendary you need to be up there like Michael Jackson Whitney Houston like even Beyonce's legendary she's done a lot but you gotta be like, come on now, like, it's nothing like spectacular. She can sing. Do not get me wrong, she can sing. But, oh yeah, you need some work. There's a reason why she didn't win American Idol. Okay, okay, next. Celebrities are so overrated by their looks. A lot of celebrities I want to fuck so damn bad, and I'm just like, oh, if I can, if you just give me a chance, if you just give me a chance. You know, but a lot of these celebrities, people just be looking at and they're just like, I love them so much. Or they have posters beyond posters beyond posters on their walls. And I'm like, is it really that serious? But yeah, I'm just like, look, there's some celebrities where I'm just like, yeah, if you give me a chance, you know, but this glorification of celebrities is kind of crazy because y'all be glorifying these celebrities more than y'all glorify God in church. Like, what is going on? That person do not care about you. That person does not worry about you. That person doesn't even know who you are. Burger King is better than McDonald's. Period. No if, ands, or buts. McDonald's is disgusting. I just don't understand why people are over here like, McDonald's is so good, no, 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 it's better than Burger King. Bitch, excuse me, have you not had a Burger King burger as compared to McDonald's nasty ass burgers? It most definitely is not that good. McDonald's fries are trash as fuck, unless all the McDonald's I've been to, and I've been to almost a ton of McDonald's on the South United States. So if the McDonald's fries are better up north or east or west, please let me know because the fries down here in McDonald's are fucking disgusting. And I've been to like six different states and a ton of different McDonald's, but McDonald's fries are not that good. Um, Burger King fries are way better than McDonald's. I don't understand why people are trying to hype up McDonald's fries acting like 
It's so fucking good. Bitch, my mom dropped a fry in between her seat when I was little in that car, and that fry stayed there for a good seven more years, and that fry did not mold whatsoever. It did not turn different colors. It stayed right there, and it was hard as fuck. And it makes me question, what the fuck is that? Is that even a fry? Burger King is better. Period. K-pop is so weird. I just don't understand how people can get lit to... You like, what? It's like, it's just, it's very, very weird to me. I watch their music videos, and it reminds me of, like, anime cartoon shows, and it's very, very weird. I love anime, but when it comes to K-pop, like, that's just not my cup of tea. I just think it's very, very, very dissatisfying and weird. Like, I laugh at their music videos. I think they're very funny because it just looks, I don't know. Weird. Don't drag me. <laughs> BDG is overrated. Honestly, just like Queen, Queen has had a super heavy, solid fan base that supports her and that boosts up her career, and DDG was the same exact way. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like if it wasn't for you clickbaiting all the girls in your thumb in your thumbnails and you starting fake beef, then you wouldn't be where you're at right now. Like, honestly, the only song that I can actually jam to by DDG is Arguments, and that's the only one that I can actually tolerate, because everything else is just like, okay, SoundCloud rapper, you did a good job. Next. If you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, good for you. If you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich with grape jelly, that's fucking disgusting. If you do not eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with strawberry jam, you are missing out. If you are eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on that lame ass white loaf instead of sandwich bread, I'm talking about the sandwich bread, is it the yogi bread? <laughs> like, you know how you put um, the bread that you use for sandwich clubs? If you are not eating <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I'm sorry, peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwiches on that sandwich bread, you're missing out. Honestly, I don't want to get a demonstration out of what I'm talking about because y'all will drag me, but y'all are weird doing the traditional same old shit that's been going on for 50 years. Like, y'all need to switch it up. Grape jelly, strawberry jelly is where it's all. <laughs> YouTube couples are dumb. Honestly, there's a ton of YouTube couples out there who do not get the recognition that they deserve because they're not doing fake pranks 25-8 because a lot of these YouTube couples are only in it for the bag. They're probably just best friends. They're not even fucking. Or if they are in a relationship, they're just happy for the camera. Because y'all, behind, off camera, y'all don't know what goes on. And it's very, very disgusting off camera. Especially because of all these YouTube couples just laugh in front of their supporters' faces because they actually think that they're dating when they're not. They're not dating. Majority of these YouTubers are not dating. They're doing it for the bag. But a lot of people are like, they're the best couple. Like, please just don't make fun of them. Just please don't talk bad about them. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on because a lot of y'all are just duped. A lot of y'all are stupid. Like, it's just... And then it just highly discourages me from doing YouTube because I'm just like, how can y'all be so gullible? How are y'all okay with YouTubers just lying to y'all and y'all are just eating it up like a cup of tea, bitch, and not even thinking twice about this because I'm like I'd be sitting in a group of uh, full of YouTubers and I'm just like oh y'all do know y'all would not have a job if it wasn't for your supporters right like why are y'all talking best about them I, I just don't understand that just opens up a whole new topic about YouTubers because honestly YouTubers are frauds um, I think YouTube has gone downhill a shit ton. Um, I don't feel like YouTube is for everybody anymore. It's very specific, specific, specific. You can't be yourself. You have to adapt and you have to keep it moving. Like, honestly, it's very, very sickening because the top creators have set that tone for the platform. And now anybody who wants to be a creator on YouTube has to follow these set politics in order to make it big or to get subscribers and honestly it's just absolutely ridiculous and discouraging and honestly good luck to those who are starting YouTube channels because if you have to diminish your self worth in order to fit in that's sad. This new age music like it sucks as compared to the late 90s and early 2000s. These kids, the X generation or these 2000 babies I don't know what is going through their head for them to think that this music nowadays is good because they're just like oh my god she can sing or oh my god he can rap sing and i'm like bitch rap sing what the fuck is that you're rapping or you're singing bitch what the fuck is rap singing you cannot sing like a lot of these artists 
outside of the studio cannot sing. I would just be listening to the audio, um, I'm sorry, the concerts, and it's just like, what is that? Or if you're just listening to them trying to like do acapella, it's like, what is this? There's only a handful of them who can actually sing without being in the studio. Because auto-tune in the studio, it corrects so many vocal problems. But outside of the studio, bitch, that is your real voice. Like, you cannot sing. Like, it's just ridiculous. You know, you're cute and all. You can make some great studio music. But bitch, you cannot sing. I'm sorry, sit down. Like, Post Malone, I love his music. But one day I heard him in concert and I was like, where is Post Malone? And people were like, that is him. What? He sounds completely different outside the studio. Like, these people. Y'all, I don't know why. People just want that quick 15 seconds of fame or that instant gratification instead of looking for something long term. Because I'm like, whoo, you need some work. Like, this is very shaky. Which then puts off people who actually do have talent and who want to make it in the industry because they're just like, I don't want all that studio stuff. But you need it nowadays. Like, people like hearing people sound like robots or fake. People love fake shit nowadays. They might not realize it, but people love fake shit. <laughs> Fortnite is so overrated and so boring. I don't understand how that game got so fucking popular. People are like, it reminds me of the Hunger Games. Nah, bitch. It just reminds me of hacks and basic ass quality of a game. It really does. Like, PUBG is so much better. But Fortnite is just like, what is going on here, bitch? How are you building castles in five seconds, bitch? I can barely take aim and shoot you. Like, I personally suck at shooter games. That's one of the reasons why I hate Fortnite. But still, Fortnite should not be as big as it is. It's the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. How many games is it going to take y'all to realize that this game is shit? It's just basic and they're making so much money off of y'all because y'all like to hype up unnecessary shit. Oh my god. Unnecessary. One Direction was such an overrated ass band. You know, they were adorable, they were attractive or whatever, but that's the only thing. Like, these little white girls were just hyping them up so much. And every time they came on the radio, it was just like... Why? And then they all look so uncomfortable because they all had a different look in the band. Like, they just look so uncomfortable together. No reason why they all broke up. Like, Zayn was probably the only hot one in the group. Everybody else was like, what? Like, I just don't understand. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. They can all kind of sing individually, but they're definitely hyped up because they're skin complexion we're not even gonna get into that but yeah that band was just it was a it was something it was a very successful band but the only bands i really like is like pretty much and that's about it like any type of other group anything else is just it's a dub <laughs> shane dawson you know i never really followed him like that i love his conspiracy theories but that man's face is just so hard to look at it just makes me want to go like ew like what it's like if you were black nobody would subscribe to you <laughs> i'm sorry but white youtube like yeah it's a lot easier to make it in the entertainment world being white than it is black like that right there like shane dawson like you have a great personality i guess per se but Nicki minaj is better than cardi b honestly i think that they have their hit music you know their hit songs um, there's some songs that just don't fuck with by Nicki, there's some songs that just don't fuck with by Cardi, but I prefer Nicki. I like Nicki's music a lot better. Cardi, I really have to be in a certain mood, it has to be a certain song. I just think that there's, a, well Nicki has more songs out, but there's just that feel and that relatability to Nicki's songs as opposed to Cardi. Because I just be listening to Cardi and I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? You have 50 other writers writing with you. But yet, it still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're both great. Stop putting them head to head. But people want to know who I prefer. And honestly, it just depends on the mood. But I prefer Nicki more than Cardi, okay? Orange is the New Black was completely boring. Everybody's like, oh my god, did you watch Orange is the New Black? And I'm like, bitch, I couldn't even get through two episodes. But then they're just like, you have to watch, like, a ton of episodes until it actually gets interesting. And I started watching a ton of e episodes, and it never got interesting. I was like, I don't want to watch a whole bunch of females in prison just for like seasons upon seasons. It just makes no sense to me. Um, like, I don't like shows that revolve around the jail scene. I just never had. Like, Prison Break, I didn't even really give that much of a chance because it's like, he's breaking out of prison. It just doesn't seem that interesting to me. So I'm just like, I'll pass this. 
I'll pass. Anyways, y'all, that's it for my unpopular opinions. There was a ton. So please, hopefully you are subscribed after the end of this video. Please don't drag me that much. But please give this video a big thumbs up. And leave some comments in the comment section below about what you think. Um, yeah, and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And turn on the notification bell. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Oh girl, girl, it's your birthday. Over oh, why? I know you're thirsty.